Hello and welcome you all for this video presentation on a topic supervised machine learning linear regression. So we will be making an attempt to learn implementation of linear regression. Before that myself Professor Vipul Kondekar Hello and welcome you all for this video presentation on a topic supervised machine learning linear regression. Myself Mr. Vipul Kondekar from Walchand Institute of Technology Solapur. So these are the learning outcomes of today's session. We will try to implement uh, this linear regression model for the given data set and the results we will try to interpret as well as we will try to evaluate the performance of the linear regression model which is developed. Before starting the implementation let us try to understand what do you mean by linear regression. So basically linear regression is a supervised learning approach. It is a predictive type of learning where this linear regression tries to find out the relationship between the two attributes or variables. One of the variable usually plotted on the x axis is called as explanatory variable and the variable on the y axis is called as dependent variable. Now for example suppose you want to have the prediction of the salary of the person in your industry in your organization based on the years of experience. So already you are having some data so that is why it is a supervised learning you have labeled data available and then with this you can come up with how I can predict the salary of the person just by knowing the years of experience suppose some new person is trying to join your organization how you will predict what salary may be offered to that particular pers person by using this predict technique called as linear regression. So basically linear regression means if you have a bivariate data one attribute is plotted on the x axis one attribute plotted on the y axis then every instance of the data will be represented in the form of a dot. So let us say you have some data with seven different instances so seven different dots I will be getting there. Now finding regression line itself is a interesting field but at this stage we want to just implement so uh, what do you mean regression line? So we want to find a line which is representing this particular data behavior. The line will be equation the equation of the line is y is equal to mx plus c here we will represent it y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 into x where beta 1 will be representing the slope of the line and this beta 0 will be representing the y intercept for the line. So definitely when you develop a base fit line there will be difference between the actual value <coughs> and its predicted value. So this, this will uh, be useful in deciding whether the line is base fit line or not. So given the data set linear regression model means you are trying to find out a base fit line which is representing this data behavior means indirectly you are trying to developing a model means you are trying to find out what should be the slope and what should be the y intercept for that particular line. Where exactly this linear regression is used? So these are the various applications where you will find that you want to predict and these, this linear regression may help you, regression analysis may help you in that. Not necessarily every time your regression analysis will be linear. Suppose data could not be represented by line that may be some non-linear behavior 
so there may be some hyperplane representing the data hyperline representing the data so based on this type of predictive analysis we will find that yes linear regression is so much of interesting concept so let us try to understand this implementation of linear regression so for this implementation i will be taking the help of a google cloud google platform called as google cloud based google platform called as google colab and the reference code is taken from the github repository as well the data sets which are used are taken from the kaggle data repository data set repository so now let us move to the implementation aspect so when you are having this linear regression model let us let us have the files which are required so there are two files one file i will use for the developing the model and one more file which we will use to get the predictions from the developed model so let me import those two files these are the two files yeah so the files are now available onto the cloud platform so let us go for the implementation so first you need to have the import of some libraries which are required this will help us in developing the code and implementing the linear regression so pandas libraries are import numpy library then to have the visualization matplotlib and we are importing the most interesting and important library scikit-learn and from that we are using this linear regression model so now when you run this particular part of the code so all these libraries will be available to you now you have to make sure that the files which are required for the program will be available to you now instead of having the drive storage let me i have already added these files over here so let us read the file which i am using for developing the linear regression model so already i have copied the path for the file so home prices dot csv is the file i am reading into the data frame called as df so when you read this so this is the file where you have two columns one is representing the area and another is representing the price so if this much is the area 2600 square feet is the area so 5 lakh 50000 is the cost so this type of data is available to you now what you can do is you can have the visualization of the data is there any relationship so let us try to have the visualization so i could find that these data values can be can be represented this behavior can be represented by the line because it's almost linear so as the area of the plot goes on increasing its corresponding price goes on increasing so once you have this data what you can do is you can develop a model so here is the machine learning taking place so you are developing a regression model and then you are trying to find out a base fit line which is representing this particular behavior so once you got this regre linear regression model what i can do is i can just try to predict the price based on the area so if i use this function reg dot regression dot predict and then i specify here the area i will get the probable cost over here so let me say 
900 is the area so i will get the prediction that this 3 lakh 2825 will be the approximate or predicted price of that particular area basically when you are developing the linear regression line or linear regression model means you are developing two things one is the coefficient which is representing the slope so for this you are getting 135.78 this as the slope and intercept value is 180616 from this data basically let us try to check the result if you have this as the coefficient and this as the intercept let us implement the equation y is equal to mx plus c so this is the value of em so you have this value as 900 so the value of the m i am getting it as 135 so let me put that value and this is the value of c so what result i get if i implement this particular equation this is the result and what is your prediction prediction and these results are same means actually you are predicting means what what you are doing is you are trying to implement this equation itself once you are developing the model means you are getting the value of m and c and from this m and c value you can predict the value of y so this is the basic concept where y is equal to ms plus b you are getting m and b values so you can have the prediction of the price and the equation becomes price is equal to m times area into m times area plus intercept and now what we can do is we can use uh, this this uh, data suppose you have a data set of some area values and you want to predict the prices of all those area values so we have one data set called as areas where you have all these area values in a csv file so if you check this particular import so here these are the only area values and now i am running this regression model and then i am getting all the price values for all different area values which are there so this is how i am checking i am doing the predictions and these are the prices what you are getting all these prices you can export to a file called as prediction.csv now and then you could find that there will be a file called as prediction.csv let me choose the path for the same so if you run this file you will get a file created called as prediction.csv and here all the results will be available these were the areas asked by you and these are the prices this is how very easily you can predict the prices given the area once you have developed a linear regression model from the available data set so this is all about the implementation so like this given the experience you can develop a linear regression model and once you know the experience value you can use the linear regression model which you have developed to predict what can be the possible salary of the person who is trying to join your industry or your organization so these are the references used for uh, this video presentation thank you